Gary, I can only imagine uh, a huge disappointment. 2 0 up at half time. They've pegged you back to 2 all. Yeah, as you said, first half, we were very comfortable. We scored two good goals, went on the half time. We told the lads that they are going to put pressure on us. And we just couldn't hold out. We could have held out for that 20 minute spell they had. Obviously, we would have gone on to win the game. But we felt the pressure they just put on us. We couldn't hold out. And we felt we should be defending better on the two goals, to be fair. But uh, yeah, it looked, looked like a great start for Corby Town coming here, two 0 at half time. But uh, at that point, Bedford looked as if they were disorganised and really didn't have much of a claim to the game. I mean, as you said, I think, to be honest, I think the first half, I think they showed us probably a bit too much respect. And I said we took advantage of that. We just kept putting pressure on them, kept putting pressure on them. Obviously got our two goals. And then the second half, they probably done the same what we did to them first half. We probably sat off too deep. We couldn't sort of get close to them like we were doing first half. For that 25 minute spell when we couldn't get out of our own half, we managed to get the two goals. It did, there was a bit of a break towards the last 10 minutes of the game. You were starting to chase it then, looking for that final goal that was going to pull you over the line, but uh, it just didn't come. But um, we've got to discuss yellow cards as well, both you and uh, Sandy picking up a yellow card today. Disappointed with that as well? Yeah, my mummy thought it was a bit too high to be fair, but I just seen the ball and I had to go for it. I couldn't let him have a free header, so yeah. And then Elliot, I think he's took one for the team there. They probably would have been on the uh, break. So yeah, so he just dragged the lad down and took a yellow for the team. But this heat, it's been absolutely extraordinary this afternoon. It's been roasting all over the country. Do you, you don't want to blame that, of course, but uh, it's now something you have to take away with you and uh, all get back together again for next Saturday when you're back at Steel Park. Yeah, definitely. As I said, like, I think it's not just the heat. I think that's a fourth game in nine days as well. So coming away to Bedford, the second favourites for the, for the league, I think. I know they haven't started the best. But as you said, tune in look, we are disappointed not to get three, but at the end of the day, point away from home against a good team isn't the end isn't a bad, bad result. And of course, still unbeaten in the league, so um take positive notes from that. Yeah, the positive as I said, is a point away. Um still unbeaten in the league. The only negatives was how we let them get back into the game and probably the, the defending for the goals. If you want to get promoted, they're the sort of goals we sort of can't be seen. The lads took a touch in the box. And as he's took that touch, he's facing away. And that's when the tackle needs to go in. We've let him fall and shoot. And that's where that, that can't happen. But uh, it's all back to Steel Park next weekend. Uh, hopefully it won't be as hot as what it is today. And of course, you've got a draw to, in the FA Cup to look forward to tomorrow lunchtime. So um, it, it's not too bad a day, really? No, as, as I said, it's a point away from home, Chuck. Once we win our home games, we'll be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. And hopefully we get a good draw in the FA Cup and we take it from there. Appreciate your time, Gary.